Okay, good day. This is Dual Enrollment Pre-Calculus. I am Mr. McCulley, and this is lesson number 28, page 2 formulas. And so what are the page 2 formulas? Well, they are the second page of our Trig Identity Cheat Sheet, and we're just going to go through and do some applications here. So the learning goals are basically all the same uh, that we've been doing for the last two lessons, rewrite and evaluate trigonometric functions. And that's what we're going to be doing, except this time we're using the second sheet on the trig identity cheat sheet. So multiple angle formulas, power reducing formulas, half angle formulas, and the product of sum formulas. Now I have this sheet here on this second slide for you to follow along with. But basically we're going to go through and we're just going to start applying these, these angles to different questions that we've seen before. Moving on, not responding. I don't like it when it does that. I'm sure you don't either. It takes longer. Come on. Okay, here we go. All right, so first example, it says, take the fact that the cosine of u is equal to negative uh, 2 over 3, and u has to be between pi over 2 and pi. So we see that at, come on, give me a pen to one at pi over 2 and pi, between pi over 2 and pi, is going to be some angle u such that, if I have a little 3 there, and this will be negative 2. And I suggest that you draw little pictures. and It just helps me out. And they want me to find sine of something, so I might need an opposite value. So I might need to figure that out. So we can use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out what that is. So I've got negative 2 squared plus the y value squared, whatever y is, and we'll set that equal here in a moment, squared equal to 3 squared. Okay, so 3 squared is 9. Two, negative 2 squared is positive 4. When I subtract, I get y squared equaling to 5. And when we take the square root, we'd say plus or minus, but in this case, it's clearly positive. So positive square root of 5 is my y value. And so I want to find the sine of 2u. All right. So we have the sine of 2u is equal to 2 times the sine of u cosine of u. Okay. So 2 sine u cosine u. All right. Well, we can just look back at our fraction or our diagram here and calculate these values. So I got 2. Uh, the sine of u will be the square root of 5 over negative 2. No, it won't. It'll be opposite, which is square root of 5 over the hypotenuse, which is 3. There we go. And the cosine of u will be given to us, has been given to us, so negative 2 over 3. So 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, times the square root of 5 is negative 4, square root of 5, and the square, uh, 3 times 3 is 9, and that's going to be our value. So the cosine of 2u, I look over here, and cosine has three different double angle formulas. And so technically, you can use whatever one you want. You just pick the one that makes the most sense in the context of the problem that you're currently working on. So I'm going to do that first one and say it's two, or the second one, 2 cosine squared u minus 1. And that will give me, let's see here, so 2, I already know what the cosine of u is, so negative 2 over 3 squared minus 1. So negative 2 times negative 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, square root of, or 3 squared will be 9. I need to change this 1 to 9 so that I can subtract. And there are 9 9 and 1, so this is going to be negative 1 over 9, and that is the cosine of 2u. And then the tangent of 2u, well, the tangent equation is 2 tangent u over 1 minus tangent u squared. Okay, we can do that. 2 tangent u over 1 minus tangent squared u. Okay. Well, tangent is going to be opposite over adjacent. So square root of 5 over negative 2. So I've got 2 times the square root of 5 over negative 2. And then 1 minus uh, negative square root of 5 all over 2 squared. Okay. So in the top fraction here, the 2's cancel, leaving me with just square root of 5. And then on the bottom, I get 1 well, this becomes a plus when we square it, but I still have the minus out there, so it's not so the minuses don't that this minus does not cancel out. And then square root of five squared is five, uh, two squared is four, 
And so I get negative square root of 5 all over negative uh, 1 fourth. And so negative over negative is positive. When you divide by a fraction, you multiply by the reciprocal. So that'll be 4 over 1. So I get 5 times 4 is 4 square root of 5 is my final answer. And we're moving on to the next one. It says use the half angle formulas to determine the exact value of sine, cosine, and tangent of 165 degrees. Now we've already done uh, the, the angle formulas for 165 degrees, but now we're doing, going to use the half angle formulas. So the half angle formulas are these, this row right here. And so the sine of u over 2 is equal to plus or minus 1 plus the cosine of u over 2. Now this plus or minus, you're probably only going to use one and I, can, I can't say that there aren't some instances where we might leave it as plus or minus but you got to determine where the original value was and go with the sign of that so just as a real quick instance um, or real quick when I go to do this 165 degrees is about right there all right, 165 degrees. So in this particular second quadrant, sine is positive, cosine is negative, and tangent is negative. So when we're done, we drop out the plus or minus depending on the fact that we're in the second quadrant. Now, um, 165, we're not dividing 165 in half. We're actually saying that 165 is 330 over 2. Now, the reason that we do this is because 165 is not on the unit circle, but 330 is. And so the sine of 165 is going to be the same as the sine of 330 all over 2. That's a 0. And so we look back here. And it's plus or minus 1 over 1 minus the cosine u all over 2. So uh, plus or minus the square root of 1 minus the cosine of 330. And yes, that is not a, an error, okay? Because this is u over 2, and this one's just u all over 2. Now, the cosine of 330, we've calculated, or we know how to calculate. It's square root of 3 over 2. So I've got 1 minus square root of 3 over 2 all over 2. Now I suppose I should simplify that a little bit. And so let's go plus or minus the square root of, I need a common denominator there. So there are two halves in 2 and I got square root of 3 over 2 all over 2. And that'll give me plus or minus the square root of 2 minus square root of 3 and let's skip a step here. When I divide two by two, uh, divide halves into two, I will get fourths. And I can't take the square root of two minus the square root of three, so I want to leave it up there. Two minus the square root of three, and but I can't take the square root of four. It's just two. And so I look here. Do I have my plus or minus? Well, again, in the second quadrant where 165 is the original angle. The sine is positive, so I leave this one positive. All right. Now the cosine of 165 degrees is going to be the same as the cosine of 330 over 2. Now if I look at the next page, and I don't have to, but you can if you you want to at the previous or at the trick identity cheat sheet page, the difference between sine of u over 2 and cosine of u over 2 is just that this is change to plus so it comes 1 plus cosine of 330 all over 2 so I can actually skip all of this work right up to uh, this point right here and all I have to do is change the 2 to a plus now again I have to determine do I have plus or minus here well in the second quadrant the original angle 165 is going to give me a negative x value. So I've got a negative there, and that is going to be the correct answer. Now let's finish that up. We've got the tangent of 165 is going to be equal to the tangent of 330 over 2. And so we go back and we check. Um, 1 minus cosine u over sine u, that works. 1 minus cosine u over the sine, sine of u. All right, so let's see here. 
the cosine of u, oops, it's going to be 330. So 1 minus the cosine of 330 over, that's a 0, sine 330. Okay, the cosine of 330 is square root of 3 over 2, and the sine of 330 is negative 1 half. And so, again, we're going to have 2 minus square root of 3 all over 2 all over negative 1 half. And so when I flip it and multiply, the 2 and the half are going to cancel out, which is going to leave me with, and I think I want to have a change of sign because I have a negative there. So it will be negative 2 plus square root of 3. Yeah, I think that's right. And our next one, uh, use the product, uh, sum, excuse me, product to sum formula to write the product as a sum and or a difference. And so we have 4 cosine pi over 3, sine 5 pi over 6. Excuse me. If we go to our product to sum forms, we've got sine sine, cosine cosine, sine cosine, and cosine sine. This is the one that I want. And so the cosine of u times the sine of v is a half, then sine u plus v minus sine u minus v. So we're just going to, to plug those values in to that expression right there. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put that 4 kind of out front, and then I'll just kind of, I'm just dealing with that as is. And so that'll give me a half of the sine of pi over 3 plus 5 pi over 6. And then it'll be minus the sine of pi over 3 minus 5 pi over 6. And so, oh, I need parentheses around this whole thing right there like that. All right, that looks good. And so, let's see here. I'm going to go off to the side and I'm going to do pi, pi over 3 plus 5 pi over 6. Well... Uh, least common multiple between 3 and 6 is 6. So I've got 2 pi over 6. That's the same as pi over 3. Plus 5 pi over 6 is, let's see here, 7 pi over 6. And then if I do the subtraction, so 2 pi over 6 minus 5 pi over 6, that'll be pi over 3 minus pi, uh, 5 pi over 6. I'll get uh, negative... Pi over, 3 pi over 6 is just negative pi over 2. All right, so let's see here. 4 times a half is 2. And so this will just be the sine of 7 pi over 6. And it will be minus the sine of negative pi over 2. Now, for the most part, that would be okay. Um, but for the back of the book, uh, the uh, recall... For the odd even formulas, that the sine of negative theta is equal to just the sine of theta. So, oh, I'm sorry, negative sine theta. And so we get 2 times the quantity, and I need parentheses around here, 2 times the sine of 7 pi over 6 plus the sine of pi over 2. And we are done right there. All right, last one. Use the sum to product formulas. We use the product to sum in the last one, so we're using the sum to product formula. To write the sum, and I suppose this should be or difference, simple typo, as a product. So I've got the sine of x plus the sine of 5x. All right. So if I look at the sum to product rules here, um, we've got the sum of two sines. So sine plus, sine plus. Well, that'll be 2 times the sine of x plus y all over 2 and the cosine of x minus y all over 2. So what that's going to give us is 2 times the sine of x plus 5x all over 2 times the cosine of x minus 5x all over 2. 
And so we get 2 sine of 3x, because x plus 5x is 6x, divided by 2 is 3x. And then I'll get the cosine of negative, not 4 Macaulay, the cosine of negative 2x because x minus 5x is negative 4x divided by 2 would be 2x. And then remember, uh, recall, again, this is a, a even odd function that the cosine of negative theta is equal to the cosine of theta. So this is just 2 sine 3x cosine 2x and that is it so we are done and on to the star wars fun fact of the day hayden, hayden christensen who played uh, anakin skywalker in the first three movies not the first three that came out but the first three episodes begged george lucas to allow him to play darth vader in the suit for the final sith of revenge of the sith george agreed i think that that was a mistake because he was clearly too small to be in that Darth Vader suit, and he didn't quite fill it out. That's just my humble opinion. That's all I got for today, folks. See you in class. Goodbye.